Welcome. The purpose of this video is to walk you through the vehicle inspection process utilizing Quick Check and the Quick Tread system. Now, your inspection may vary depending on the modules that you utilize. For this inspection, we're going to check the tread of the tires, we're going to check the alignment on this vehicle, we're going to do an emissions legislative code test that might cause that check engine light to illuminate, and finally, we're going to check the cold cranking amps on this particular battery. So let's get started. To begin the vehicle inspection process, we're going to measure the tread thickness of the tires on the vehicle. While doing this, you're going to want to maintain a speed of between 2 and 8 miles per hour, going squarely over the quick tread and ensuring not to turn the wheel during the test. Once you've completed the tire measurements, you'll continue to drive past the stop strip. Then you'll place the car in neutral, you'll secure the engine, exit the vehicle, you're going to grab wheel chocks and chalk the wheels. Next, we're going to look for any legislative codes that might be present. Utilizing our code link device, we're going to identify the onboard diagnostic port, we're going to plug in the code link device, and we're going to turn the key on so we can power up the code link device. At that point, it's going to automatically start communicating, which gives us the opportunity to type in the odometer reading, and it'll even automatically pull the VIN. So as it's communicating, we set it on the seat, shut the door, and then we're going to take our clamp and begin the alignment portion of this check. When installing the wheel clamp, here's a few good tips. Ensure that your hook is at the 3 and 9 o'clock position, you're relatively centered, and that your target is secured. Now if it isn't secure and tight, you can always retry or you may want to install another hook. Once all four targets are installed, ensuring to never push from the body, you will roll from the tires until the arrow is in the center of the bar graphs. You'll rechock your wheels and now enter the vehicle. You're going to place the car in park. You're going to turn that key off and remove it. Then you're going to remove your code link device and pop the hood. Once you shut the door and store your code link device, you're ready to begin the next step in the process. The very last step of the inspection process is to verify the cold cranking amps of the vehicle. We're going to utilize our Hunter battery analyzer for this. Prior to inspecting the battery health, we need to verify a couple of things. The first thing we need to do is verify that in the top left hand corner we're showing the proper make and model of vehicle and then secondly we want to verify that the cold cranking amps displayed on the screen match the cold cranking amps that are on the battery. Once those are verified we simply install the clamps red on red, black on black and then we're going to verify on the screen that we have a blue light. Once that blue LED light illuminates we have completed the check. We simply now have to store our components and if there are remote terminals it's the same process. Now that we've completed our inspection, we simply have to retrieve our printout, deliver our printout, and store all of our components. We definitely don't want to drive off with a wheel clamp connected to the tire. Now what we'd really like to do is just show you this entire process in action. 